Well, Chiomini to Arsenal boast. It's another one that's gonna hate to obviously be thrown in, in here onto the Rokani Media Football. It's obviously a double-edged and you guys, you might obviously see it as a domino effect. You know, it's a situation that might lead to another situation in here onto the Rokani Media Football. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a day. Rokan David is my name and we are here to tackle lots of stories. Bernardo Silva looking like he's pushing to go ahead and obviously play for his dream club that is Barcelona. And lastly, it's all about a player called Zavi Simons. I know most of you have been asking me about Zavi Simons, but we have a very huge update of Zavi Simons and the club where he might be going to play next in his entire career. So let's see close to 400 likes, smash on this video. Don't forget to subscribe because we want to hit 20,000 subscribers before the end of this month and all is good for you guys. Now, today we have a story coming in from Football London as they've gone ahead to add up dots of the of the story of Oreo Chomini that will see him really go ahead and obviously play him or play his next career at all his next games at the Emirates Stadium where Arsenal hosts most of its games that side. Now, we have a story that has been written by the Football London and it reads that it reads that Chiomini right has been touted with the move <coughs> to north london following the arrival of judy bellingham in madrid chiomeni 23 years of age was a regular starter during his debut campaign at the santiago Bernabeu, but was shifted to the bench for the club's knockout games in the usl that is football and now this is one of the reasons as to why chiomeni wants to leave Real Madrid. You know, sometimes if you see a player being linked onto very many different sources, just get to know that there is a reason as to why he is being linked to clubs like Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester United, and so on and so on. You know why? Because there is no smoke without fire. And most of these talks come in through like that, and they obviously get into a level that everyone should obviously thrive on. So, right now, <laughs> as it stands, Oreo Chomini had been known to playing for Real Madrid in the final case of the season. Sorry, in the final band of the season because he has been having competition to beat. That is Kamavinga, Luka Modric, Valverde, and Toni Kroos. And as it stands, all these are really available and they've gone ahead to obviously cause a lot of headache to Oreo Chomini and those are some of the reasons as to why he can find himself out of the club. And we've, gone, we've been told by Football London that reports in Spain have claimed that Real Madrid would be willing to sell Chomini for between 68 million pounds and 85 million pounds, the 23 year old already contains with countryman Kamavinga for starting spot while well, Kroos and Modric could be deployed as deploying midfielders due to Bellingham's availability into the key, into the team of Real Madrid. So, if you know now, you know that for a player who is 23 years of age like Olio Chomini, you would love to see that you are at a club like Real Madrid and obviously play ball. And we all know that he was brought in as a Casemiro replacement. And Casemiro, because the first game they played against Malaga, he was benched for 60 minutes and he was brought on. And obviously they turned the game because the game was 1-0 and they won it by two goals to one. Felt like he never had enough playing time at Real Madrid. He left and Chiomini went in to do the job. But all Chiomini has been doing the job. But Ancelotti felt like there is some some shake-up that he needed to make in his team and Chiomini found himself off on the bench in the final bend of the season and he believes that with the arrival of Bellingham his playing time is going to reduce and with his playing time reducing with the Euros happening next year he believes he needs to get a better team that's going to give him enough playing football because when you look at the team of France, they're having very many central midfielders. And if at all, you are to really rank teams that have got national teams that have gone ahead to have what we call decent CDMs, that is France topping the sport, the likes of 
uh, Paul Bile Pogba, they're having Golo Kante, they're having um, Rabio, they're having Fofana, um, now there is all your Chomini, and in the system they only need one CDM. So it just sends him into a lot of pressure as a player that he might miss out onto the Euros. He might make it, he will make the squad, but starting to play into that central defensive position or the defensive pivot of um, France, it might be hard because they're the Onanas, you know, they are huge players. The Turams are really coming in through, the Cornes are really coming in through. And we've seen the coach of France not afraid to fill young talent provided they're really having ample playing time at their respective clubs where they play at. So, Chiomini is having close to three factors. So far, I've gone ahead to mention that I've gone ahead to lead to his boost to leave Real Madrid, which is good news for Arsenal. One, obviously, lack of enough playing time. Two, Euros. And three, beating competition at Real Madrid because a new midfielder has been signed in. That is, <clears throat> that is Judy Bellingham, meaning that he has to beat Bellingham, Camavinga, and Valverde. <laughs> that is it. To come in through and obviously get through into that starting 11 of Real Madrid and for that a price has been really put up and I've seen this as a very huge boost because if Arsenal are going in for for Quesido and Quesido is costing them 100 million pounds Real Madrid has a player whom they are willing to sell 68 million pounds or 70 because I believe if you give Real Madrid 68 or 85 million pounds for Chiomini I think that will be a bargain as a player who has gone ahead to play in the Premier League. Um, he played with France and he's a winner, you know. He saw them lift a trophy this season and they've gone ahead to put in a lot of shift with the Real Madrid side. So for me, Chiomini will be a very good addition to Arsenal and I think <clears throat> if you're looking in for a perfect Thomas Party replacement, he's the right guy. Right age, 23 years of age and when he comes in through, he'll come in through for 80 million pounds. That means you get the 45 million pounds that Al Hilal are willing to give Arsenal to purchase Thomas Partey and add on more 40. Remember, there is already money that Arsenal is, is, is wanting to use to buy the likes of Lavia. So, if at all you sell Thomas Partey for 45 and um, you sell the likes of um, the likes of KNT and very many others, you can easily collect money to get these players to get Chiomini at the club of Arsenal. So let's wait and see how this boost is going to be reacted onto by Arsenal, but it looks like Chiomini is up for grabs and his agent is really working to see it that he gets a new club as the player cannot compete with what is at Real Madrid right now. And with Madrid wanting Kylian Mbappe, it's another story that has gone ahead to activate this move of any team that is interested into Chiomini because as it stands, Real Madrid want to sign Kylian Mbappe. So, them wanting to sign Kylian Mbappe, they need close to 200 million euros. And remember, they had a budget of 300 million euros at the start of this season. And remember, they're going to have to spend close to 130 million euros onto Judy Bellingham, meaning that they're having 170 left. Meaning that that amount of money they're really having is really less to get into the player. Remember, they're going to have to buy Adagula for like 20 million euros. That leaves them with 150 million euros. PSG is burning for 50 million euros. And for Real Madrid, <coughs> to see that deal happen, they have to sell a player like Chiomini <coughs> to get him some 80 million euros to see to it that they just get off 50, bring in Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe will be a very huge addition to that Madrid side, and that's the fourth boost that I've gone ahead to reveal to you. So it looks like all pointers are really drawing towards the exit of Oli Chomini, but we wait and see whether Arsenal will go ahead and obviously make a bid. The interest is there, it's concrete, but it depends on the departure of Thomas Party. But Thomas Party looks like he has made up his decision and wants out of Arsenal as he was not even included into the squad of Arsenal that traveled to the US after agreeing personal terms with the Al Hiral side down in Saudi Arabia and is going to be earning £400,000 a week. So for a player like Thomas Party, African nature feels like no reason for him to say no to such a fatty and juicy deal. So that is about Ohio Chomini. And let's get into the other story of Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva is a 27-year-old player who plays for 
Man City and Gerard Romero, this is the fly on the walls of Barcelona, has thrown in a very huge a very huge story about his transfer from Man City to Barcelona. He's saying George Mendes wants Bernardo Silva to fulfill his dream to join FC Barcelona. He would be willing to reduce his salary to fit in with the financial conditions. In fact, Barcelona have already been in contact with La Liga, but a big sale is needed. So, Bernardo Silva wants to join Barcelona. That's not a secret for the previous two seasons. We've known this, but the hindrance is one, can Barcelona foot the valuation or meet the valuation of Man City for Bernardo, for Bernardo Silva? And that's the only hinge for this deal because we've known the manager of Man City, that is Pep Guardiola, he won't keep a player who wants to go. And if at all this man wants to go, he will let him go openly and tell him, please, leave the club in peace and is willing to really show up, show Pep Guardiola his bag. So, Barcelona need to raise money to get this deal over the line and them raising money to do that is one of the hardest things they're going to do because they need to get footballing money, not money from the account of Juan Laporte or any other masquerading businesses to see if they really land this deal because even if they sign him, they won't be able to register him because of the way they're going here to get him through. So, that is going to head to obviously cause what we call a rumor that there might be a swap between Frankie de Jong and, um, and uh, Bernardo Silva. Frankie de Jong crossing to Man City and Bernardo Silva crossing to Manchester, sorry, to Barcelona. And we are anticipating that maybe something will be worked out with Barcelona. As for them, you can't rule them out on really doing something, something miraculous. To see to it that they get in the players they want as uh javi has gone ahead and obviously told them he's supposed to be the new number 10 of barcelona and we need to get him in and you look at javi and obviously feel pity for him that a team of barcelona that's supposed to be spending a minimum of 200 million euros per year sorry per, per summer are not really spending that money because of the financial constrictions they're really having plus the huge which bill they're really having at the club of Barcelona and we anticipate that it will all come out and see it solved but not this summer and it will need a very 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 huge turnout turn around by Barcelona to get the likes of Bernardo Silva to their side because they couldn't even sign Ruben Neves for 30 sorry for 45 million pounds from the Wolves side now Xavi Simons is what we are going to talk about today. Fabricio Romano, Xavi Simons' announcement of next move could be tomorrow. Leipzig remain favorite to sign Xavi Simons on loan from PSG with no buy option. All parties are waiting for the final green light, depending on PSG guarantees on game time and player side. Now, Xavi Simons went ahead to play a very good season under Ruth Van Nistelrooy in the LDVZ and he really put up a very good performance and teams like Arsenal, Man United have always been linked to him. But as it stands, looks like Xavi Simons is a player who really wants to go ahead and obviously play in the Champions League team, get up for playing time and RB Leipzig he is one of those teams he is being linked to and we might, we might see a here we go of Xavi Simons made very soon by Fabrizio Romano as far as this is done. But when you look at his age, he's young, talented, good. And you would anticipate that every good team would go in for him. And it's not a lot of money that's wanted by PSG. But the player feels like he can only stay at PSG for at all. He's guaranteed enough playing time. And with his agents and entrage, they don't see that happening. They believe that they should extend their career elsewhere and not kill another year of his career as he did at PSG because he saw to it that if at all he was at PSV would have gone ahead to really light up the world and would have been in the levels of the Gagpos being watered by Man United and Arsenal if at all he played the season of 2021-2022 at PSG and never really made that transfer to sorry at at PSV and wouldn't have made that transfer to PSG. So guys, your thoughts on Chomini to Arsenal. Transfer boost are welcome in the comment section below. What do you make about it? Bernardo Silva, do you think Barcelona will get money to facilitate his transfer from Man City to the Catalonia side? And lastly, Xavi Simon's transfer update very, very on. And it's imminent for him to get a new club, but it's 
are epileptic. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living true God protect you abundantly. Rock and David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you later. Ciao. Ciao.